Hello, and welcome to Johnson's Innovations. Today, I would like to introduce you to the feeder meter controller. Here we have a working feed system. As you can see, it is made up of a tank, pump, valve bank, connecting hoses, and dispensing nozzle assembly. With the pump running, you can easily dispense liquid through the nozzle assembly simply by pressing and releasing the nozzle handle. Now let's add the feeder meter control system to this feeder. Even though this is one of our feeders, you can easily add this system to any feeder of similar design. First, we will disconnect the feed hose assembly from the valve manifold. Now we mount the flow control assembly using the spring quick connect. Now, using the quick connect hose assembly supplied, connect the flow assembly to the valve bank. Now reconnect your dispensing hose nozzle assembly to the output of the flow assembly and your liquid portion is ready to go. Now let's install the control assembly. The control assembly is made up of the controller, control harness, flow harness, and power cable. Using the magnetic mount, position the control assembly in a convenient location, easily accessible to the operator. Attach the main harness to the controller. The main harness and the flow harness look very similar. You can identify the main harness by locating the power in pigtail. Attach the power cable to your 12 volt DC power source and plug it into the power pigtail on the main harness. You should now be able to power on your controller. The last step in assembly is to install the flow harness between the main harness and the flow assembly. Don't worry, you can't hook it up wrong it will only plug in one way. We are now ready to set up and calibrate the controller for filling and feeding. Let's take a look at the controller. On the face you see the keypad, the readout, master on off switch, feed fill switch, manual auto switch, and a fuse. Let's turn it on. We are now ready to go. First, let's calibrate the controller. The controller can be calibrated to whichever division you desire. Quarts, liters, gallons. For now, let's work with quarts. To accurately calibrate, you need an accurate measuring device. In this case, we're using a 5 gallon or 20 quart graduated cylinder. We're now ready to calibrate. First, power on the controller. Set the fill feed switch to fill. Press the button C and the LED will light. Press the numbers 1, 2, 3 and then the pound sign. The number will now blink. Enter the desired cal number, in this case 20 the number of quarts will draw for the test and then press the button C. The LED will stop. Now fill the pail to precisely 20 quarts. The number on the readout is your new calibration number. So jot it down. Using the same steps as before when you put the calibration number of 20 into the controller Enter your new calibration number. Now flip the switch to feed and enter the calibration number again. Both fill and feed are now calibrated. You can move that number up and down slightly to find a more accurate measurement of your feed portion. Setting target is done similar to the calibration number except you don't need to enter the one, two, three pound sign. 
The purpose of that is to keep you from inadvertently changing calibration, thinking you're setting a target. On the target side, you only need to press the A button, LED will light, enter the desired feed or fill target, 2 quarts, 80 quarts, whatever you want, press the A button again, and you are set to go. Remember, when the button is on feed, you're setting the target for feed. When the button is on fill, you're setting the target for fill. Now let's check our accuracy. First, we will power on the controller, set the fill feed switch to feed, set our target for feed to 2.0. Set the auto manual to auto, power off, then on the controller to zero out our readout. Now using a four quart measuring bucket, we will dispense liquid into the pail until the controller shuts off automatically and then let go of the handle. As you can see, we have an accurate two quarts in the pail. The same test can be used for the fill side. But remember, when the fill shuts off, it shuts off and stays off, where the feed turns back on after one second. There you have it. The Johnson's Innovations Automatic Control Feeding System. We hope this video has been helpful. Have a good day.